guys, welcome back. Um, so, I've done this numerous times, and every single time it's been messed up. And it's always because I've used this newer version that I thought I created and perfected, but I haven't. I've only actually tested it like four times. Each time I found something wrong with it. So I'm gonna go back to the original version. I'll try and perfect it later. But for now, let's just stick with this one. I do like its simplicity. It's very laid out, and you can see everything where it is. So what we're going to start out with is three sticky pistons. We're going to place them down like this. We're going to go two up, two back, two back. Delete these three, put three just like that, and delete the back one. Now what we're going to do is put the circuit two below, just like that. And the circuit is three by three in the middle, without the middle three. Like this on the sides. And one in the middle on each of these sides. Don't know why I didn't do that on this one. And now we're going to put repeaters in the circuit. Three on this side with three tick delay on each. Two here the middle, don't worry about putting ticks on those, and here. This one was four, this one was two, and this one was zero, or one I guess. Next, we are going to put our orange circuit. It's going to be a command block here eventually, but for now, we'll just leave it like that. Next, I'm going to, so, two, up one, then out two, and then down here, you're going to put three. Com er, a repeater there. I'm going to grab some dust. Grab some torches and some dust. Torch, dust, like here. So this is a shut off. And I'm going to put this here. Command block's going to go there, which is our test for block, which is a command that's going to tell when a block's over there. It's going to go through the circuit. Put three redstone dust on each of those. This one, destroy. I'll show you why later. It's going to go through the circuit. Hit this. Activate that command block. And it's going to go, hey, there's a block over there. It's going to shut this off. Close that repeater so the circuit can't go through anymore. And, yeah. Sorry. And this block right here is going to turn yellow. I'll show you why later. Uh, command block is also going to go here, but I'll show you that later as well. Now, green blocks. Five right there. We're going to grab our hoppers, droppers, comparators, sticky piston, and all that jazz. So, we're going to make a T flip flop right here. to piston into redstone block and this redstone block is going to have two different outputs grab this one is going to be right here one two one two three four second one is going to be straight out just like that. And I'm going to grab command blocks. Put three there. Screw you. And three here. Next. Oh, that looks like it. But it's not. Okay, now we're going to put three. Sorry, not three. Two command blocks. One on each side. And a command block on each of those torches. Next, we're going to grab our fill blocks. That's it for the circuit building part of it. We're going to grab our fill blocks. Start filling this in, make it look real pretty. Pull this out one more. All right, 
Alright, now what we're going to do is grab our bridge blocks. And what I'm using right today, right today, is these three. Um, I'm using smooth andesite on the sides and then rotating oak plank and C lantern in the middle. So right now we just need to figure out where these are. So hit F3, which is already visible. I'll turn it off, turn it back on. Shows all these random blinking numbers. So what you're going to look for is at the bottom, it's going to say looking at. And we're going to see that it says negative 5A2, 15, 1159. That's this block right here. If I move over, you'll see 1160. And one more is 1161. So we know that the first two numbers stay the same. Um, so in chat, you can type these numbers out. Negative 582, 15, 1159, and if I went over it would go all the way up to 61. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to enter these blocks and I'm using the set block command and working on that first block, negative 582, 15, 1159 stone 6 is my preferred block for the edge. I'm going to I'm going to command or sorry, control middle click that block. Move it over here, shift click it down there. And I'm just going to change this to 60. That's the middle block in the bridge. And this one I'm going to put planks 0 for uh oak planks. I'm going to put the same block there. This time I'm going to go 61. And stone 6 can stay the same. Going over here. <laughs> I'm going to bring them again really get to them. This one is 59. That's good. Hey. Going 60. I'm going to change this one to C C lamp. C lantern. This one to 61. Double checking these just to make sure last time I tried this I didn't enter a few properly. And bad things happen. Bad things. Actually, it's not as bad as when I changed this one. I entered the height to, like, what was it, 170 something. And so all I see is a fill from here to up oh, there. <laughs> yeah. Self-explanatory. So next we're going to test for block. We're going to grab one of these. My preferred length for a bridge to go out is 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our edge of the bridge blocks are going to be right here. So I'm going to be testing for one of these blocks. If you test for the middle one, sometimes the circuit will get messed up and the T flip flop will switch to the wrong middle one. So it's a bad thing to test for the middle one because it's not always 100% correct. This one I'm going to do 5, sorry, negative 5, 9. Two. I have less than a minute left. I'm probably going to pause this soon and restart. 592.16.1161. Enter that, and I'll be right back because I'm going to restart the next clip. All right, back guys. Uh, thanks for thanks for dealing with this. I'll eventually buy it. I just got to work out my PayPal account. I mean, unless one of you guys wants to buy it for me, that's totally cool. Just kidding. You don't actually have to. So, right, the command. I copied the location of that block, so now I'm going to enter in here, test for block. Look at my chat. It was 592.16.1161. Negative 592.16.1161. And it was stone 6 was the block. Now, if I... If I uh, go over there.
there. I'm gonna double check. 592-16-1161. That is correct. 592-16-1161. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to fill these in. Yes, we're using the fill command, slash fill. Uh, we're going to grab the three blocks right here. What are they? 581 14 1161 259. <laughs> just forgot. Uh, 581 and 14. So negative 581 14 1161 2. Negative 581 14 1159. We're going to enter redstone block. Command click. And we're going to move these up to and back one. Back one. And we're going to double check that I actually put those in the right place. 580, 16, bam. Okay, now we're going to move the bottom one right here, right here again, and this time we're going to put, instead of redstone block, because we want them to be deleted, stone 6. I'm going to command click this one, put that torch back, that block back, and hit stone 6, make sure the coordinates are correct, double check that all of these are correct, yes, yes, alright, oh, I guess we gotta put an item in here. Making sure I didn't already. Okay, so you see it set those blocks there. Now you know it's setting the sea lantern blocks down. So when we start the circuit, it's going to start right here, and then it's going to go through here. Activate the T flip flop, bring it back up, and the first block that's going to be out is plank zero. Oak plank, it's going to be right here. It's going to be the ed edge of your bridge. That means the last one that you're going to see, which is right here. It's going to be oak planks as well. It's going to look like that. So, it's fairly uniform. It goes from both sides. But sometimes, quite sure maybe it's just the way the circuit is built. If you're supposed to have a button that resets this, I don't know. This might actually just work each time. We'll see. But, if there's no blocks set here already, it's going to put oak plank as the first and last block each time. Should. That's ideal, right? Now, we're going to build the on and off button. I guess I should call them, you know, out and then delete button. I usually do. As on and off sounds more like a actual circuit because this is more for the circuit than the bridge but so we're going to set this block not that we're going to go set block get out of there this is five seven nine twelve eleven sixty two negative five seven nine twelve eleven sixty two Four. That's yellow wool. Five seven nine twelve eleven sixty two. Five seven nine twelve eleven sixty two. And this one, we're going to delete and hit set block. And it's actually just moving one over in the first column. Is it up or down? It's going five seven nine. So it's adding one. We're going to go squiggle one. Squiggle, squiggle. 
uh, wool four. You know what I did wrong? This one up here is actually supposed to be setting it to a redstone block. And then this one's going to set it black, <laughs> set it back, making a very short delay through the blocks. So you're going to get precise hitting on each of these sections. Um, I'm going to double check this, make sure it's not going to, yeah, so change this to negative one. Hey, okay, so we know that works. Hey, that should be it. Okay, so we're going to double check this right now. Grab a button, put that down there, and for the test block to kick in. Perfect. You saw how it came here and then cut this off before it actually worked. It looked like it still had a few ticks left, so you know what? I might as well put this down to one. We'll see. We'll see if that uh, does anything. So now, basically, to stop it, what you do is, to uh, cut it out, is it's going to be a fill command from this block right here. I know you don't see anything here now, but sometimes there can be things there. So you're going to hit right there, all the way, one of those side blocks, all the way, oh, I pushed it through. Hmm. You might have to tinker with that if you don't actually mind, it's okay. To right here, or right here, or right here, you know. Whatever the uh, base of the bridge is. So then it's just gone, and then you just hit the button again. This will turn off because it's going to put it here. Once it hits here, it's going to be like, oh wait, there's no block there. Let's shut this off in time for the circuit to go back around. Um, so yeah, that is the tutorial. Um, I'm going to make a few tutorials later on different things. Uh, oh, hey. I set that to off. What are you doing? So yeah, I'll uh, make a few tutorials. As you can see, I do have a lot of other things here that I could show you. Um, but for now... This is actually my most prized possession. You're lucky I'm showing you this first. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think. If you thought that was too easy, if you want something harder, let me know. Because I do have a few builds that are... Okay, they're actually pretty easy. This was probably my hardest one. But um, yeah, if you'd like something challenging, uh, just let me know. Let me know what it is, too. If you want to see something really specific... Um, I could probably work on something. I usually don't have a life anyways, so... Yeah. I can always find new projects. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, do whatever.